we have never been given a legal basis um, for the blockade here in Malta and um, we um, clearly think that it's a merely political um, uh, blockade that we're facing and um, yeah we would um, we would like to see a legal basis for the blockade that we're facing right now and um, I think that the report um, that the Dutch authorities have issued um, mid of July uh, clearly shows that we are properly registered, we are properly equipped and we have all the insurances that we need to go out and um, this is our flag state stating this, confirming it again a couple of days later and we are still blocked here in Malta without any legal reason. I must uh, complain uh, that there is really no legal basis that uh, um, the vessels of Sea-Watch are detained here and uh, that they cannot t um, do their job uh, with the aircraft and um, I think it is clear uh, Malta as a member of the European Union <coughs> Uh, has to stick to, to the rule of law and maybe just tell me. Das finde ich ist ein unmoralisches Angebot. Das ist etwas, was keine Politik tolerieren darf, geschweige denn aussprechen darf. Weil eine NGO aufzufordern, das, was sie als Zielsetzung tut und wo sie eigentlich humanitäre Ziele mitverfolgt, zu unterlassen und das in einem quasi rechtsstaatlichen, in einer rechtsstaatlichen Abkehr zu tun, das ist schon sehr, sehr unmoralisch und hat mit Demokratie und mit Humanität nichts mehr zu tun. Yes, and we will do it. Um, no matter how many obstacles are put in our way, um, we believe that it is um, our our duty as human beings to not let others drown out there, um, simply because they have a, a different passport, they come from a different part of this world. We have the means. We, as the EU, have the means to. Uh, accommodate these people and to find solutions for them and we as the sea rescue NGOs also have the means to go out there and rescue them and it is horrendous that we're being kept here while people every day out there in the central med are dying. <laughs> 